Hello everyone and welcome back to Moss Tree Village here in Animal Crossing New Leaf and oh my goodness we're still so far behind on time. I know that the dates are really out of sync but that's because I was getting ready to play and catch us up to the current date and then I noticed something really awesome. Not only is our new bridge actually built, good morning Caesar, I'm just gonna run by you, don't mind me. Not only is our new bridge built, so my very first public works project is done. We're gonna go look at that. But oh, okay, you guys, we gotta get ready. That's one of my favorite, one of my favorite insects. I want to catch it. Digging him? Oh, I missed him! Gosh, you'd think with all the beetle catching I've been doing at the island, I would have gotten better at that. Oh, I love these walking leaves. They're so cool. I can't wait till we can get in more of the houses built that are from the other characters, other than chips, my beloved chips, so that I can add in all sorts of extra museums and entomology rooms. It's gonna be really, really fun. All right, but when I came over here to admire our brand new bridge, I found this! It's Red's shop! So this is Crazy Red. He happens to sell a whole bunch of art. Some of it is art forgery, some of it is legitimate stuff, but we need at least one legitimate piece of artwork to be able to take over to Blathers. So I need to be able to snag the legit piece of artwork from him to take to Blathers in order to start unlocking more things in the museum. So I'm so excited to finally catch him! I have been waiting for him to show up for ages now now. And don't worry, we have plenty of money to be able to pay him with because I have so many bells. Look at all of this. I have got like, ah, oh my gosh, one, 140,000 odd bells right now, even after finishing our public works project because of all of our amazing beetles. So we have a ton of beetles I need to take to Blathers today as well. I have had so much fun. That is my new favorite thing to do at night is to go over to the island and I just spend so long at the island being a, like catching all of those bugs and beetles. I lay down on the floor in Chips' office and I just perch there and I catch beetles and then every now and then I'll yell out at him, another Hercules beetle, darling. Oh my goodness, darling. I think that's a rainbow stag, but I've only ever caught one rainbow stag. So don't get too excited about that, you guys. But that is how we had enough money. Dun dun to build this. Tabby, what do you think? What do you think? It's our very first public works project. And this is going to sound terrible, but I regret getting the suspension bridge now. I really wish, especially because it's so close to the plaza, I had gotten the cobblestone bridge. So this is terrible, but we may actually demolish it at some point in the future and replace it with the cobblestone bridge. My idea is over here we can put in the campsite. So I want to add in the campsite public works project here and then I wanted to have like all sorts of cute little trees and bushes and little paths that look like the villagers footprints have been on them like little little bird shaped footprint dirt paths leading over to the campsite. So I do want to get the campsite set up kind of over here. And I was thinking we could kind of have like a wild garden with clovers and other wildflowers and tree stumps you can sit on. Kind of like a foresty area over here, hopefully, if nobody puts their house there. But it seems everybody wants to build their house. I have some sort of informal like housing junction going on over here where I thought I would have my private little secluded area with my house just tucked away from, from the world. No, that's where everybody decided to set up like a little neighborhood. So we may redo this area and try to make it look a little bit more like a neighborhood which I think would be really fun and by the way I just remembered check this out I have my very first hybrid I think this hybrid was made because the villagers water the plants for me and I have a black lily which I'm super excited about we're gonna save that black lily and we are definitely going to actually use it for maybe Halloween like decor that we can wear so let me scooch my lilies around a little bit I've heard keeping lilies kind of in a um uh, I guess you would call it diagonal, like a diagonal zigzaggy pattern improves their chances of making hybrids, which are kind of low already. So you have to have like little hybrid farms for lack of a better way of explaining it. Let me maybe put another one up here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put like maybe, uh, maybe I should put the other red one. Who knows where I should put the red one. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and plant the red one over here. I don't know if planting the black one would do anything, but I'm going to go ahead and plant the black one over here. And we'll just leave those lilies to do what they're going to do. Um, is this a money rock or is this going to be a gemstone rock? But anyway, we need to go over to reds. Oh, I don't have my, my shovel out right now, so we'll deal with that later. But yeah, I want to turn this into a little neighborhood neighborhood area. We need to go over to Red's. We need to go talk to Isabel. I haven't spoken with her after paying for the public works project with beetles. We paid with the entire thing with beetles. So I am so excited to be like a beetle entomologist catching all of the beetles and researching them. So we got to take those to Blathers today as well. All right, let's talk to Tabby. 
It's just gonna keep on raining forever, isn't it, Siri? Oh, so what's going on, Kerpow? How are you doing today, Tabby? You know, one of the things I love about good old moss tree are peach trees. Hey, would you mind getting me a peach? Oh my gosh, no problem, Tabby. That is what we specialize in. I could whip it up into peach jam for you if you so wish. I can't really do that. I actually, I feel so bad. We had some people commenting like, wait, how do you make, pe make peach jam? Er, how do you make peach jam in Animal Crossing? And I was like, oh no, guys, I was just joking. <gasps> do I have coconuts? Do I have lovely- I have lovely bunches of coconuts down there! We'll have to gather those up. Hey, Punchy! Everybody's super excited to see you in the comments. It's awesome. The only thing about the rain is that you can keep- a, that you can skip a shower that day. Anyway, do you need something? Oh my gosh, I actually love taking a shower after, like, walking out in the rain. It's so soothing. Siri! Something horrible has happened! Oh no, Punchy! I can't find my socket wrench anywhere. Do you think that everyone's socket wrench has disappeared too? I bet there's a socket wrench eating alien on the loose. I, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, Punchy, you're adorable. So he's pretty cool. I'm so excited for Chips to find out that they're living next to each other. I heard that Blanche- <gasps> What? No! Out of my way, Punchy! Out of my way, Blanche! Blanche, where are you, my love? My dear, dear Blanche, you're one of my best friends next to Aurora. Please don't move. Aurora's sweet, but she's a little bit of a recluse. Blanche! Blanche, where are you? Oh my gosh. Well, here's here's a challenge to see if I can say her name correctly. All right, let me swap over. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, and then I have a letter from Aurora, too. I went and visited Aurora's house and had a really great time. I was so sad I didn't record it. I was like, oh, well, we've got to catch up on days. But it turned out to be the sweetest thing with Aurora talking about how much she loves studying all of the plants and bugs and the fish that are around town and how she does a lot of reading and researching on them. And it fit perfectly with my idea of her being an author. So I was really sad we didn't manage to read that together. So let's read this. To the classy Siri, you saying you liked my home has really inspired me to keep improving. It. I'm so excited for the possibilities. Please accept this as a token of my thanks from your friend Aurora. Thank you, Aurora. Maybe if I bring Blanche a present, it'll make her feel better. What did Aurora send us? Oh, oh, a stripe carpet. Interesting. Well, we'll try that out pretty soon. But where's Blanche? Oh, I was trying to find my little, I have my little microphone actually, so I can call out to her. Whoops. I always think that's where my letters are stored. All right. Let me see if I can find my microphone. Uh, found it. Wonderful. First try. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hold this. Blanche! Oh wait, I have to hold it. Ah, oh, sorry, this feels so weird. Blanche! <gasps> I said it right! Oh, she's over there. Blanche, why are you thinking of moving? Where are you, my dear? And also, Tabby, I brought you a peach. Here you go. All right, don't worry, Tabby. So I'm so excited I said her name right. Yay! Okay, so we got a peach for my good friend Tabby. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. I love taking care of the villagers. It's probably one of my absolute favorite parts. Hey, who's that crawling around on the ground over there? That looks... Oh, yay, I'm really glad you love the peach. A soda fountain! <laughs> I guess I could set up some sort of little cafe inside of one of my houses. Thank you, Tabby! A soda fountain's really interesting. Also, somebody said something... Blanche, there you are! Let me just catch that weird little... I thought I saw him crawling around. Oh, there he is. What are you? Oh, did I chase you away for good? Blanche, 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 why are you moving? Stay here! Don't move! How can I convince you to stay? Hello there, Siri. Doesn't all this rain bother you? I feel like running indoors and waiting it out quite so. Was there something you wanted quite so? Siri, how do I look today? I agree it's a bit gaudy. A beauty like mine requires a bit more subtle style. Quite so, I should at least wear it for one whole day before passing judgment, though. I'm pretty sure that's the same outfit as always. Blanche, tell me it was a rumor. I heard a rumor that you have a barred knife jaw, or knife jaw. I've been looking for one of those for quite a long time, quite so. Oh darn, I think that was something I was supposed to give to Blathers. But I will, I will sell it to you if it will- 4,000 bells? Oh! He's worth a lot, but it's, it's worth it for you, Blanche. Please don't move away. Oh, please, please, please stay. You can have him. It's just a fish. Your friendship is so much more precious to me. There you go. Gosh, that's so much money. Oh, you'll treasure it forever? Even if you move, please tell me you're not moving. All right, I want to make sure she's staying. Okay, yeah, she's just going to talk about how she looks. Maybe I should get her some new outfits. Oh, that reminds me, we need to go check on the QR machine. So we'll go do that. Sorry, I, I got so worried about Blanche, I got quite distracted. Or, so if I find any of the gemstones, it looks like, oh, the rain. Oh, it looked like the rain let up for a second, but it didn't. 
All right, so if I find any of the gemstones, I guess they'll sell for a bit, but let's pop into reds and I'm gonna do my best because I hear he sells forgeries as well as the real thing and I'm really nervous I'm going to buy the wrong thing. Hello, red. Ah, welcome, welcome. Thank you for visiting my shop. Oh, could this be your first time meeting old red? Well, ain't that lovely. I'm always happy to meet fellow art lovers. This is Red's Gallery, where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you'll ever see in this world. This is your one and only chance to buy a piece of famous art at a, for a bargain that can only be crazy. But of course, since there are really rare items, we only sell one item per customer. Why do you ask? Because a bargain this crazy wouldn't be fair without some limits. I'd be penniless. So come on in, don't be shy. Look around all you want. Hee hee hee. Oh my goodness, okay. So now here comes the nervousness of having to look at each and every piece really closely. Is that piece normal? It looks like it has little pokies. She should have a cylinder, not a spear-shaped head. Maybe this is the piece? Then I don't think that she's supposed to have, I'm pretty sure that this is not supposed to have wings quite in this pattern. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this piece before though. Um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's wings aren't supposed to look like that. So through the process, I don't know if he looks right. That disc looks weird. It almost is like he's holding a helmet thing. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, she is wrong. So I think through process of elimination, the only thing we can actually snag is probably this painting. Red, I think, I think you've got, I think you've got some pretty good... Some pretty good fakes going on here, but I'm glad you can actually examine them from a whole bunch. Oh, you can examine them from like every angle. Look at that, that's so cool. That's very helpful for being able to try to determine if you're looking at the real deal or not. All right, Red. Now, okay, come here. All right, Red, this is, this is how it's gonna work. I'm going to give you some money for this painting. I'm pretty sure this painting is gonna be the real one. I see you've got eyes for that common painting there. I'd say it has eyes for you too. I must say that's quite amazing. So between you and me, I'm selling it. Oh, that's that's like worth my knife jaw. All right, I'll take it. All right. So, all right, I think I paid him. Uh, well, I'll mark this common painting as sold item. Everyone else is out of luck. Don't you worry, I'll wrap this up nice and safe and mail it over to you as soon as this exhibit is over. But remember, if your mailbox is full, it won't get delivered, so make sure you've got the space ready. Oh gosh, alright, and you would just, like, keep the money, I take it. Alright, so we have bought that. I am pretty confident. I was really worried that the fakes would be harder to spot, but actually that was kind of easy. That was, that was pretty easy. Ah, cousin, I just knew this, uh, work of art would find its true home now that you've decided to buy. I'll be sending your purchase off to you as soon as the exhi exhibition is over, so keep a watch for it. Well, that's right, like very, very interesting, and I'm very, very glad that somehow I'm pretty sure we managed to get the right piece. But I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping it would like arrive at our in our hands today, and I would be able to take it straight to Blathers. But that's okay. I have so many beetles to take up to Blathers. All right, so let me see what I need to do. I have quite a few random things. What is this? Oh, it's a kimono. That's right. I bought this kimono. Isn't it cute? I bought this kimono at Abel and Sable's place. Uh, I have been talking with them. I think we should have the QR machine sitting inside of their place now. So we'll go check in on that in just a second. I think I should... <gasps> Blanche, please don't move. I'll send you a present, okay? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep chattering at her. Did you know that Punchy is allergic to horchata? Huh, I just made that up. See, that's how rumors get started. <gasps> Yay, I'm so glad. Hopefully Punchy was making a rumor of you moving, Blanche. I was so worried. One person makes something up out of the blue and it sticks. Apparently the truth doesn't really matter. All that matters is the entertainment value. On that note, quite so. Oh, I'm so relieved. I think that means she's staying. Oh, I have lemons. Gosh, that's exciting. Oh, oh, Tabby. I'm so relieved Blanche isn't moving. Fish flakes. All this rain really makes me all thinky and stuff. You too, Siri. So what do you want to talk about, Kerpal? Hey, what do you think of my whole look today? Uh, cool? Maybe? Yeah, cool. I mean, it does look cool. Cool? Really? Awesome! I knew I could pull that look off, kerpow. 
But I can't wait because once we get the QR machine, I've been saving so many patterns. I want to make into outfits to give to the villagers. So that should be a lot of fun to be able to try to entice them. Oh, and I've put so many things up for sale. I bought a whole bunch of things to have them in my catalog. And then I put so many different things up for sale in the store. And I feel a little bit silly about it now, but it was really fun and I had the bells to waste. So why not? Why not indeed? All right, Reese. And I'm going to go ahead and sell a few things. Yeah, let's see what I've got to sell. I'm going to sell this little walking leaf, even though I really like him. And these things. And I don't know about the striped carpet. I guess I could go ahead and at least look at the striped car carpet in uh, the soda fountain. No, and I got a detour arrow too. The mantis, all of these guys. There you go. You can have all these guys. I know it's not worth a lot, but at least this is a good way to clear them out. Wonderful. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh, big top. Come on in. Come on in, my friend. There's a lot of stuff here today. I just know I'm gonna find a hidden gem. Let's see if I can encourage him to buy something. I've heard you can like physically push them into things. Do you want this drum set? It would probably be perfect for you. I think I might want to buy a big top. Oh, that would be really cool. Oh, it's almost like you're my big sister. That's adorable. Sweet. I really like encouraging them to go ahead. I think I was selling it for pretty cheap too. Thank you very much, Big Top. Recycling is the best villain. Wonderful. Bye, Reese. And now we'll have to go over to his house at some point in the future and see if he's changed things up. Also, I'm so nervous with everybody talking about moving away. I need to go visit Aurora. But thankfully, Aurora and her precious self uh, can be more easily reached. Oh, I need to go talk to Isabel. Oh, oh goodness gracious. All right. Well, let's go talk to Isabel really quickly. And we'll say, Isabel, Isabel, isn't it wonderful we finished the public works project? <gasps> My persimmon tree has grown! I've heard getting these persimmons is really difficult. So Caesar has actually shot up in my esteem. Yes, you, sir. You have shot up in my esteem for this this plant. I want to give you a proper suit, though. Hey, hey, Siri, look at you running around in the rain like you're all carefree and stuff. What? You love the rain? Hmm. Well, whatever floats your boat, highness. So, what's up? I'm going to buy you a suit one of these days, Caesar. That's what uh, That is what is up. That red fellow set up shop in town today. His shop seems really suspicious, but from time to time, you can find really great deals. If you don't mind getting hosed once in a while, why don't you go check it out, Highness? Thank you, Caesar. And I, I still appreciate the persimmon tree. I want to turn this section of town into kind of like a little mini farm garden little area. I really wanted Moss Tree Village to end up being more like a, a wild forest, but I think I'm just having too much fun with the idea of it being like a tiny little farm town. So I will definitely work on that. Also, I don't have my shovel, so stop. I'm, I'm like eagerly staring at every rock we walk by. Like, oh, if I just bash that with my shovel, what if it has a gemstone inside? I love collecting the gemstones. <gasps> Isabel sleeping, you guys, that's so precious. Isabel, Isabel, sweetie. Oh my gosh, that was the cutest. Mayor Siri, it's not what it looks like. Okay, it's exactly what it looks like, but I was dreaming about work, I promise. Oh, that reminds me, we had a visitor earlier who suggested a new public works project. And actually, Isabel, dreaming about work, you and I are, are, are two peas in a pod, my dear. Two peas in a pod. I have actually fallen so in love with Isabel, I'm thinking about ordering some of her little amiibos. Uh, oh, maybe I should make her out of the clay. That would be really fun. I do love them. Okay, Isabel, I'm going to stop thinking about turning you into my muse for my art. Hem hem. She wants us to put a dream suite on Main Street where you can take naps with vivid dreams. Cool, huh? She needs support from the town before it can open, so this is where you'll be a big help. I'll go ahead and add it to the list of public works projects under the name Dream Suite. That's fantastic! Then I would be able to dream of your towns, and I could go and dream of your towns, maybe even visit them in the train one day. It would be awesome. Isabel, let's talk about this. I'm pretty darn happy. Oh, Mayor! I just remembered! The townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the Suspension Bridge project. And considering you're the one who made this all possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? I'll be happy to, because this is my very first time ever doing it. I was really hoping you'd say that, because I kind of already finished the preparations. Heh. <laughs> Alright, then let's head to the, cer the site of the ceremony, shall we? Oh, this is so exciting. It's my very first ceremony setting up the Public's Work Project. Oh, <gasps> look at everybody! Okay, it looks like the villagers who are the least shy and the closest to being my friends came. Does it affect friendship levels? Is that who comes? Blanche, Tabby. Uh, well, I guess Punchy is just random. He just moved in. Ahem. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the grand completion ceremony for Moss Tree's Vital Suspension Bridge Project! Yay! Even though I, now I really regret this and I wish it was a cobblestone bridge and I'll probably like tear it down and put up a cobblestone bridge in a few days. <gasps> Don't worry about it. 
Thank you for joining us in this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Yay, Isabel! Thank you! Oh, she's so cute. Thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Siri. Uh, hooray for everyone! Oh, so cute. Well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Now, okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate the item we passed out earlier and get ready. And now, to celebrate the completion of this Publix work project, and all the hard work that made this possible, the Beatles! Yay, Beatles! Yay! Oh gosh, that's too preciously adorable. This concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules of wandering around town and begging me for peaches and fish to be here. <laughs> gosh, I love that. That was really cute. Isabel, oh, everybody's all scattering. Blanche, I'm gonna talk to you so much you're gonna, you may move away because I keep talking to you, oh gosh. There's a rumor going around that you're a bug whisperer. <gasps> how'd you know, Blanche? That's how I built this bridge. As far as rumors go, that's not half bad. I've certainly been called worse. Oh, that's awesome. Caesar? Hey, Siri. Hi, a soggy, I assume, Highness. So, do you need something? I heard a rumor that- No, Blanche! It must be baseless. I've talked to her several times. I'll send her a present in the mail. I'm not sure what she'd like. She's collected several crickets. I'll catch her a fresh cricket. Maybe a fresh cricket will help her out. I really don't want her to move. Blanche is like, she's my friend. She's my friend. Aurora is kind of like, sorta my friend, but kind of like that friend that you have in class who you're not really friends with outside of class. And Blanche, she is my fun neighbor friend. Isabel, 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 let's see what we can do. So what are we going to build next, Isabel? Hi, Mayor Siri. Is there something I can help you with? We're going to look over the public works projects and let's see what we have. So, all right. Current requests include... Ooh, okay. Hang on here. The Reset Center. I have no idea what that would do. The Dream Suite, which is a little bit outside of my, my funding before I catch more beetles for now, but would allow me to dream of other towns, which could be really, really fun. The Cobblestone Bridge, which I really wish I would have gotten now. A Yellow Bench, which is not really what I think we're going for. A Water Well, a Fountain, a Park Clock Street Lamp, and the Campsite. I think we're actually going to build... Mm, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the campsite next. You won't be able to demolish the campsite project once it's finished. Shall we Shall we start? Let's do it. That intimidates me a little bit. But let's go ahead and I will hopefully have picked a good spot. I've had this spot. I can't really think of it being anywhere else in my town. So, oh gosh, the idea of not being able to demolish it. Isabel, that's so much pressure, but I'm pretty sure I know where I want it to be. And then we're going to take all of the fossils and beetles that I haven't taken to Blathers to Blathers together. And then tomorrow... Oh, hello, Kit Kat. Oh my gosh, everybody's everybody's really happy about the bridge. I'm so glad they're enjoying it. Yay! And I want the campsite to kind of be tucked back over here. Maybe like... Like, Isabel, this tree's in the way. So imagine if this tree wasn't here. But I want it... I want it... Okay, maybe... How about right here? How about here? Maybe it's too far. Oh, Isabel, why are these decisions so difficult? Um, and nope, I think right where this tree is actually. Okay, Isabel? Yes, Mayor! Is this about where you'd like to place the campsite? What do you think? Well, let's see. Yes, I think this would be perfect. We'll need to remove the plants and anything buried underground, but if that's okay with you, this spot is fine. It will probably look something like this when it's all finished. What do I think? Um... That's kind of hard to picture, Isabel. <laughs> Maybe, uh, gotta think this over. <laughs> okay, where are those two trees? Okay, I need to look at where she showed off the trees. Okay, so, yeah, I think that would work out fine. It was just a little bit tricky because it was sort of way behind the trees, I guess. So let's scooch it down just one. All right, Isabel. All right, what do you think? I want to see that again because we're going to plant more trees. So let me go ahead and see what it would look like again. Uh, I think that's a little bit better. A little bit better. Maybe that's the spot. Maybe a little further down. I think a little further down. 
Oh my gosh, this is a lot harder than I thought. This is only my second time putting down a public works project. So I thought it would be like a little bit easier, but no, you kind of, you really have to move it and groove it a little bit to figure out where you want them. No, I guess this was a good spot actually. It just looks kind of weird, but it'll be okay then, Isabel. I'm really nervous because once I build this, what do I think? I don't want it to go too far south or else I wouldn't be able to do anything with the area south of it. Oh gosh. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna do it. It's perfect, Isabel. Let's do this. All right. Let's get the preparation started. I think I can pay for it on the spot. And I can also, I can, yay, a little gyroid. Yay, all right. So she's already headed back to town hall. All right, well, that, oh good, the trees are still here. Yeah, that's more or less perfect for where I wanted to put it. I definitely need to plant a few trees over along this side. Oh, and the rain has stopped, that's so cool. So yeah, definitely need to plant a few trees, but that is actually almost exactly where I wanted it. Hey Lloyd, are you hungry? I can feed you some bells. Yay, I've got enough for that, you guys. I'm so excited, let's cooperate. I'm gonna give him all of it. This is still beetle money. Beetles are so awesome. Don't let anybody ever tell you different. All right. Yay! Now the project should be done. Oh, I'm really on a roll. Thank you, Beatles. All right, so that is done. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and move on to check on the QR reader. We're going to gather up everything I have to give to Blathers. And then tomorrow, <laughs> we'll have to come back again. And oh, there's a cricket. Maybe if I send this cricket, can I put a cricket in the mail? Dang it, cricket. Dang it, cricket. Why am I such a better bug catcher off camera compared to on camera? It's because I get nervous. Oh, there we go, Cricket. Can I put you in the mail? All right, a little grasshopper. Let me see if I can put it in the mail. I don't think I can, actually. Aw, oh, man. Okay, well, we'll find something cool to send to Blanche, even if it's just a peach. I think she'd even enjoy that. But we're going to pop into the train station. Is there any? Nope, no new notes. Pop into the train station. And we're going to grab the beetles that I have been saving up to give to Blathers. And we have a lot of fossils. Oh, I forgot to dig up a fossil that I saw. We have a lot of fossils to take the Blathers to. All right, so first things first, find an empty spot and just kind of dump some of the stuff I'm hauling around for no good reason. Uh, we can always come back to it as soon as we're done. I think that goes to Blathers too. The kimono can go away. And then I've been keeping everything down here. Dun dun dun! Here we go! So many beetles! And sand fleas and special moths. There's my Hercules beetle, Atlas beetle, so many. And a hammerhead shark that I caught. Sweet. All of that's going to go to Blathers. Oh gosh, I have two of those guys, so I don't need to give two of those guys to him. More beetles. Look at all of this beetle awesomeness. I don't even have room for all of the fossils that I need to take to him either. I've already taken those bugs to him, so these are actually just bonus fun for me. All right, so a couple fossils and several beetles, and we're going to take these up to Blathers. We're going to check on what is in Tommy and Timmy's shop today. And then, oh, I think we'll call that a day, more or less. Uh, other than sending a letter to Blanche, we'll, we'll go buy something for her and ship it to her because I really don't want her to move away. I would be so, so sad if she did. So let's take care of all these beetles in my pockets first. Pockets full of beetles. So awesome. I'm a little entomologist in the making. Blathers, who doesn't like bugs, is probably not going to be pretty happy with me, but that's okay. All right, hello, Blathers! Don't worry. All right. All right. I'm going I want you to assess some fossils really quickly if you would be so kind. I brought 3 of them. I am afraid the rest are beetles and a shark. Maybe he'll appreciate the hammerhead shark though. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Any I haven't found? Yes. All right. Fantastic. All right. So, we'll have to see what he's going to take. And let's go ahead and make a donation. All right, Blathers, would you like some coffee? What? I've already donated all of those? I would have sworn that I hadn't donated all of those. So I'm pretty startled. But there goes our rainbow stag. There goes our hammerhead shark. A raptor torso. That sounds so awesome. All right. 
there we go. All right, so he's going to take all of this in bulk for us. Hopefully tomorrow, Blathers, I will be able to bring you an authentic piece of artwork, and then we can get to work expanding the museum, because once you have something in each one of the exhibits, then you're actually able to expand the museum. And I was going to go look at the Hammerhead Shark, but we'll save that for another day. We'll do a fun little museum tour to see how far our collection has gotten when we turn in the art piece. That should be pretty fun. All right, well, I had a lot more... <laughs> already given to him than I realized. Let's go into Tommy and Timmy's shop and see what's for sale and maybe we can find something to give to Blanche as a gift because I really don't want her to move away. Oh, hey, Genji's here. I actually forgot Genji was one of our villagers. I feel a little bad about that. Hey, Genji. Welcome. Actually, I don't know why I'm greeting you. I don't work here. Otaku. What can I help you with? What's the latest, my friend? I always stop by to check the new items on the convenience store when I'm out for a jog. Oh, he really is quite a sporty guy, isn't he? All right, so Genji seems like he's doing all right. So now let's check out what's for sale today. Got a few, oh, we have, <laughs> oh my goodness, we've got the little, the little lantern. Okay, well, there's a jukebox for sale. Oh my gosh, and what's this? An Alpine kitchen cart. Doesn't that look perfect for Blanche? Let's buy it. Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it, little guy. Thank you so much. I don't think I need the jukebox as interesting as it is and as much fun. I think you're supposed to, like, look in the catalog. Um, Let's see if the things that I recently got. So let's come over here, and I want to see if... Doo -doo 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 -doo. What did I just get? I just got a soda. Is my soda? Yeah, the soda fountain's here. So how do you make sure things are in your catalog? Do you just have to like have it once and it'll permanently be in your catalog? Because I would love to know to make sure that anything I give away, like the typewriter or any of the other stuff, like the sword I'm going to give to chips, I would love to make sure that I don't lose any of them. So if you guys could let me know how the catalog works, that would be awesome. All right, and let's check out what the floor is really quickly. Charcoal tile. What on earth does that look like? Oh, that's actually really nice. I'm going to take that because that would be perfect for some sort of um, floor in one of our future museum rooms that we're going to do in the houses. A rose wall? <gasps> Show me. Oh. No, no, thank you. This is good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. All right. So we're good. All right. So let's go ahead right here, right now. We're going to write Blanche off. Oh, we had stationery. Okay. Well, we'll get the stationery from the train station and write Blanche a letter in just a second. Thank you. Bye, Tommy. And now we're going to go check and make sure we have the QR machine. We should have the QR machine by now. Got to stop in the Leafs and get some happy flowers because he puts happy flowers out every day. Leaf, that's so awesome. He has a little cedar sapling today. Oh, yeah. All right. Do you have any lilies? <gasps> it does. Lilies. Yay. I will buy it. Even though yellow lilies are not my favorite. I would probably like a ton of the white lilies. Um... Ironically, I do like the yellow and gold roses though, so I think we only have yellow roses at the moment. Thank you! I would buy more saplings. I keep planting cedar saplings in the south and ironically that's okay because even though they die, at least we bought the sapling. All right, and let's check the Able Sisters and see if we have the QR machine yet. I've never used it before. I just know what it's supposed to do, so I'm pretty excited about the Genji! There you are again! Hello, welcome to the handmade fashion palace of the one and only Able Sisters. <gasps> there it is! Oh, Siri, welcome. If you would like to use the sewing machine, just let me know. Uh, I'd like to use it. I'm good for now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. White and green gingham plaid. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Yes! I'm going to have to use this to make some special outfits to give out to the villagers as gifts. I'm very excited. Hey, Genji. Genji, pardon me. Ugh. There you go. Now you're over here getting sized for some new sweatpants. Oh my gosh. Want to chat, my friend? What kind of clothes do you like, otaku? Hope you find something that suits you. Thank you so much. Nothing there really suits me right now. But soon, my friends, when I will be whipping out that QR machine and using it in so many ways. <gasps> Is that? No, it's just I was so excited. I thought that this was a, a like flower, but I'm wearing flowers in my hair. So there's a monocle. There's the band-aids again. A pacifier. I'm okay. Nothing, nothing here today for me. Goodbye. Goodbye, label. All right, so I think we're pretty good. We did quite a lot. Tons of donations to go over to Blathers. I have some extra fossils and beetles that I can sell or keep if I wanted to because it would be really fun to keep some of those guys for the entomology area. 
which I think would be like an entire building, to be honest. There's so many insects to collect. And then I'm going to go ahead and write a quick letter to Blanche and send her a gift because I don't want her to move away. And then tomorrow should be a pretty exciting day because we will actually have Red's package arriving. Okay, I should have some stationery somewhere up here. I know it's somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. I'll use this stationery. And what is this? Oh, it's a little bandage. That's right. For if I get an, into an accident, I wanted to keep that. And then I'm going to put all those away so they're safely tucked out of the way. And then let's see. Down here. A whole bunch of just my extra things. This is kind of like my my fun area where I just keep things I don't really need to. Um, Like the beetle. I really want to keep that beetle. And maybe the stag beetle. He can come over here. And this was really hard. Well, the lantern fly I can sell. Saw stag I can sell. Charcoal tile, um, I can sell in a pinch, but it's good for if I need it in the future. All right, there we go. And then I can go ahead and with our awesome letters, be able to store any of the items I don't need. But I do want to make sure, is that my umbrella? That's my umbrella. All right, do I have, is this one my shovel? And that's the watering can. Is this one my shovel? It's my shovel. So what the heck are you? See a bunch? Oh, that's the new slingshot. I did buy the slingshot too. Sweet. Okay, so we're all set up. We're good to go. I'm just going to sell a few of the extra little things and send Blanche her letter. And I will see you guys next time for when we will grab Red's letter from our mailbox, which should be awesome. And then I may even scan in a few things for the QR machine, actually, so that hopefully I can redress some of our villagers. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.